every two minutes a bike disappears in Germany. And especially popular among thieves are expensive e-bikes. Do you want to prevent your bike from being the next one? Then you need reliable theft protection. And this starts with a good bike lock. The question is, which lock is the right one? PowUnity is an expert in e-bike security. I'm Matthias from PowUnity and I will introduce you to six different types of bike locks. We put every lock to the test and find out which one is secure and which one isn't. And finally, I will tell you what you can really do to make your e-bike safe from thieves. So stay tuned. If you're interested in e-bikes and e-bike safety, then you have landed on the right channel. Subscribe to the PowUnity channel right here and become part of our powerful community. And now to the six most common types of bike locks. Number one, the frame lock. A frame lock is attached to the bicycle frame, usually at the back below the saddle tube. It is ring-shaped and consists of a hard plastic or steel housing. It is fitted as standard on some bike models. The principle behind it is very simple. A ring or hoop is pushed through the spoke. It snaps in and surrounds the rim. This locks the back wheel. Simple frame locks can be opened and closed with a key. More expensive models work with a radio key or an app. But how secure is a frame lock? A frame lock does not take up any storage space, but unfortunately it is not very effective as the only protection against theft. Thieves can simply carry your bike away and pick the lock later. Number two, armored cable lock. A cable lock consists of braided steel cables, a few millimeters thick, which are covered with a plastic sleeve. A four-digit code is usually used to close the lock. The armored cable lock is similar in design to a traditional cable lock, but much more secure. It also consists of braided steel cables, but they are additionally sheathed with hardened steel capsules. A combination or cylinder lock is then used for locking. But how secure is a cable lock? Common cable locks can often be cut in seconds with a bolt cutter. That is why they are also called gift ribbons for thieves. Number three, the chain lock. Chain locks are the so-called classics among bike locks. They contain steel chain links with a padlock, combination lock or cylinder lock. But how secure is a chain lock? That depends on the thickness of the chain links. To break a high quality chain lock, thieves need at least an angle grinder, a saw or a welding torch. And such a chain lock can cost up to 200 euros. Number four, textile bike lock. Pure textile bicycle locks consist of several fiber materials woven together in layers. Sometimes there is even a metal cable in the middle. A mini U-lock is then used for locking. Depending on the length, textile locks might be suitable for locking several bikes at once. But how secure is a textile bike lock? As practical as they are, textile locks are not convincing when it comes to security. Pure textile locks have little to offer against a saw while models with a metal cable perform somewhat better. Number five, folding lock. 
A folding lock is a combination of a chain lock and a U-lock that consists of elongated rigid links. You can fold it up and store it in a space-saving way. Folding locks are available with a cylinder or a combination lock. But how secure is a folding lock? Folding locks are stable and difficult to cut. The movable links and the flat profile make it difficult to apply a saw or bolt cutter. In addition, thieves need a great deal of strength to cut such a lock. However, this does not deter experienced and determined bike thieves. Number 6. The U-Lock U-Locks -lock. are reminiscent of oversized padlocks. They consist of a U-shaped metal shackle coated with plastic, which can be up to 20 mm thick. High-quality models are hardened on the outside and somewhat softer on the inside. This means that cold spray attacks cannot harm them. But how secure is a U-Lock? U-Locks are the safest bike locks on the market. Because of its rigid shape, the shackle offers little attack surface for tools. Only an angle grinder or a welder is promising. But even then, the U-Lock still has to be cut in two places to remove it. This is very time-consuming and, above all, conspicuous. The only disadvantage is that a U-Lock is less flexible than a textile lock, for example. Number 7. Which anti-theft protection really matters? We recommend a solid U-Lock from established brands as the safest bike lock. However, folding locks and heavy chain locks also offer good protection for your bike. Cable and spiral locks should only be used as additional or emergency locks. We do not recommend using a frame lock alone. It is important to remember that even the best U-lock on the market won't really protect an expensive e-bike from thieves. You only get real security if you combine several elements. A good bike lock, one or more component locks and a GPS tracker for modern high-tech theft protection. With the Bike Tracks GPS tracker from PowUnity, you are not only immediately notified about any unauthorized movement via an app, but you can also use it to track a stolen bike in real time and pass the location directly to the police via the app, so that thieves really don't stand a chance anymore. Are you interested in a real-life case? Christian, a PowUnity customer, heard it himself through an open window when the lock on his e-bike was broken with a battery-powered angle grinder. The alarm in the app of his GPS tracker went off immediately and a chase for his e-bike began. It was a chase like the police had never experienced before. Do you want to know how it ended? Then check out our Bike Tracks Hits episode number 11 right here. Do you want to learn more about the advantages of GPS trackers and how they work? Would you like to get more tips on how to secure e-bikes against theft and what to look out for? Then check out our PowUnity Explains topic page. Every week you will find the information you need to protect your e-bike from theft. You find the link in the video description down below. Or do you prefer to inform yourself on YouTube? Well, then subscribe to our channel by clicking on this button. And don't miss a PowUnity Explains video.